Hey everybody, welcome back to Civilization VI, where we are constantly at war and everybody loves us. Um, we're currently trying to take down uh, Japan. Looks like they're trying to run somebody out to build another city. And I'm going to try and stop that if I can. Um, got some good advice about which tiles I should try and upgrade. Like, uh, this science tile by the Wonder would be a good place to have uh, the campus. Or actually, here, this tile would be good to have the campus on. Uh, to get the extra science. And in terms of, like, the leaderboards and the rankings, we're actually leading in science, believe it or not. Believe it or not. I don't know how, because pretty much everybody's been saying that we're behind in science, like, big time. Um, but we are on, like, Prince difficulty, so pretty good chance that we're not gonna have too many problems. Uh, let's keep an eye on this on this city guy over here. I think he's gone. Probably gonna have to take down another city over there, but that's fine. Okay, scout, do your thing until you can't anymore. Production-wise in here, what did we just build? Um, oh, we got our builder. Nice. Very nice. So, we needed to get iron or something, if I'm not mistaken, so that we can get swords. And we have iron available somewhere, right here. Or stone. Oh, here's the iron. There's the iron. So we could get that. Um, I think that's what we'll head for right away. And then what we'll do is... Let's see. Can we have multiple... So we have an encampment there. We have... Okay, good. So, we can have multiple uh, districts. That's right. So, no suitable locations. Fine. So, we, we have enough to put the science back here. Or the, um, the campus when it's done. The water mill. We'll do that. Uh, I do need to get amenities up, like, stack. So, I honestly think maybe just going... Oh, I don't think the theater square is going to do it for me. Entertainment complex, I think, is what we want. Yeah, let's do this. So we could put the entertainment complex maybe over here, so it's not wasting a lot of the food. Try and get our amenity situation under control. In uh, Gifu here, so it's occupied. And I think the, the way that you guys were describing this, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it's occupied right now because we just took it over. And the citizens, they take a little while to come around to new leadership. So for the time being, it's going to be, you know, it's not going to grow much and people are going to be a little bit pissed off and yada yada. But um, what are you going to do, you know? Look at how long it takes to do anything because I have no... Like, I have no production, really. I guess we could say focus on production. See if that changes much. Doesn't really. So this is kind of where I'm still a little bit uncertain about what to do when we get these cities and they have super low production like this. Um, it's 57 turns. That's ridiculous. So you kind of think, like, well... Something will kick in, right? Something will kick in where we'll eventually knock this down quite a bit. Either from growth or whatever. And maybe that's the issue, right? Like, because we have zero citizens, they're not working any tiles. Even though it's showing us that they are. But because it's occupied, that's what's really setting us back. So this will kick in at some point. Um, and when it does, I think we want them to build a granary, perhaps, in this city. I mean, we do have the science tile over here, so we could build another campus, but we could knock out a couple of these things in the same amount of time, so. Alright, let's... we continue just crushing this place? I'm gonna go look for that... Oh, there he is. I'm watching you. Let's get rid of this guy while we can. We, oh, we can't shoot over top. Okay, let me move out here. So 
So why can I not shoot the two range from here then? This is grasslands, but hills maybe? Let's just use the horse archers to do it. Will them down slowly. We've got that chariot back to full health. And I'm just thinking about where we want to start positioning these guys. We kind of are going to have like a choke point here. Once we destroy Japan, then Oslo's got to go because we're going to own like this half of the, uh, of the map, basically. Not basically, totally. Archer's good. Scout. Just automate again. Okay, and then we should be able to move in here with our little invincible demons. Boom, boom. Okay, cool. So, I am going to keep this city. And let's see, what are the promotions here? Ranged. Okay, so both have volley. I have to make sure that my garrison units are the ones that I actually move into these cities to protect them a little bit. With production here, I think we could just throw up a... Uh... Oh, let's actually repair the monument. Or repair the... Uh... What was it? The granary? How do I bring up the things that we were doing? Oh, right here. I think it was a granary that we were repairing. Chariot. Let's, uh, let's just move you out a bit. Might as well try and take down these barbarian scouts. Let's find out where they came from and eradicate their home. So this one... Is still volley as well. Oh, look. Okay, now, somebody pointed this out to me. Um, oh, wait. Their offer. They're offering me Okayama seed. What does that mean? So they only have Gifu and Okayama. They're offering me... The truffles, a bunch of gold. See, I don't get if they're offering me these cities. They're the only two they have left. What's the difference? I may as well just take it all. Right? I think I'm just going to take it all. Okay, look, now we have a trader. So, we can see the benefits that we're going to get from going to any of these places. Uh, oh, I like if we go to Oslo. I like that. We get gold, we get science, we don't get the production. We don't get the food. So, what do we want? Do we want science and gold? Maybe that's a good idea, considering our gold is kind of teetering. Um... Oslo receives no benefits from the route. Nobody would. None of our own cities. Let's go to Oslo. In addition to bringing riches to our civilization, this trade route will gradually develop roads between our cities. Roads allow our units to no longer be impaired by the difficult terrain through which they pass. Right, so we can then transfer units between cities a lot faster. They're an important part of moving around the world, placed by trader units uh, beginning in the ancient era. Roads begin to by reducing the movement cost of, of a tile to one when moving from one road tile to another. As technology progresses, you'll unlock the ability to build better and better roads, and even bridges. So modern roads, for example, reduce movement to a half movement point per tile when moving from one road tile to another. All road 
All roads allow units to ignore terrain-based movement penalties. Roads are placed by traders, but may also be placed manually by military engineers. Cool. Very cool. Okay, so we got our first trade route up and running. Uh, I think we're going to pump out an entertainment complex here. And just keep these guys, like, keep these guys happy, you know? Or should we build? Or we could do science as well. I think we'll do entertainment. And we will put it on... Just a basic food production tile, I think. Okay, so this builder... What do I want to have you doing? We've got stone. We could build a quarry there. Not a bad idea. We've got spices. Let's see, is this Plains Hills? Oh, there's a plantation there already. Okay, perfect. Let's get that builder back. Let's go ahead and build the quarry there. Thing do we have on you? So volley as well. They're bringing the settler in here for some reason. Seems a bit questionable. I don't know what he's hoping to accomplish. Oh, we have a warrior out here. I didn't even notice that. Um, I'll take shots in the warrior first. And that allows me to continue chasing this, this settler. Okay, now these guys, we could probably start moving them towards there to try and take control of it, I think. I definitely need more melee units, that's for sure. Yeah, let's do that. Get rid of that scout. I feel like things are starting to roll, you know? There we go. Okay, let's watch this settler. Where are you thinking about going right now, buddy? If we... Can we capture them? Like, if we just... Water... Okay, work on the water mill has taught your workers much about construction practices. Your knowledge of construction has advanced considerably. Nice. If we attack these guys and kill them, do we... Do they become ours? Is that how that works? I'm not sure. We do have these guys coming in. Should I be worried? Meh. Probably. Uh, let's get a campus up here. Ooh. Now why can I not put my campus over here? The improvement will be removed when building this district. Place in the district will remove the wheat. Huh. Removes the wheat. Why is it that I cannot build it out here? Let me check something here. Districts. Specialty districts like the campus will have a population requirement. Fine. Um, click on the district to begin. 
overview of the different yield outcomes. The lens will show you which tiles are unavailable. As some districts have very specific placement requirements. For example, the encampment cannot be built adjacent to a city center. Furthermore, they must be built within three tiles of a city center. Okay. So this is three tiles in. Maybe this has something where... Let me look up the campus specifically. Maybe we can't place it next to other things. Adjacency bonus, science from each grassland, plains, etc. Plus one science from every two adjacent district tiles. What the heck? That's really weird. I'm not sure why I can't build it there. I wonder if I have to have this tile available. What if I wanted to purchase a tile here? How much is this one? 90? Let's, I just want to see if that fixes it. What? That's super weird. So why can't I put that on there? I, I honestly have no idea. I can put it on literally any other tile except for that one. So I'm not going to build the campus yet. Um, just to see. I need four or greater to try and build it there. That's very bizarre. If you guys know about that, please, please let me know how to fix that. Um, amenities were at a zero here, so I think I'm fine with this. I could probably... Maybe it's a good idea to just get walls up everywhere. Or... Need a more trade route capacity. This will add one, the commercial hub. Or we could just improve some of the tiles around us too. Uh, encampment training, district-based project which provides gold and great general points. Earn gold for your civilization equal to 15% of any production contributed to this project. Could knock out a battering ram. Let's get another builder, I think. I don't know what's going on with that tile there, but I'm really interested because somebody did say I should settle it there. Uh, the campus there. And I don't seem to be able to, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, let's keep attacking here. I betcha. Oh yeah, okay, we just capture them. Just like that. We get a free city out of it. Okay, that's exceptional. Whoa. Okay, that'll work, I guess. Do you have a promotion here? Let's go ahead and grab another garrison. Okay, so the builder's done there. Do we already have... Yeah, we have a pasture there. We have a farm there. Nothing in here, though. head inside. We have a promotion here. Let's go... Combat strength versus fortified defender. And a heavy chariot. Promotion available here as well, so we can scale cliff walls. And now, uh, combat strength versus anti-cavalry units. Seems pretty specific. 
Could also double back and grab some of these. No combat strength and movement penalty when attacking from a sea or a river. Oh, that's cool. Let's, uh, let's try and get to the end of the promotion tree. Let's see what happens. Did you literally just bring out a chariot on me? You can. You did. It's dirty. Okay, your trader Karag overheard the Norway has progressed to the what? To the next era, I think. Well, that's good, because we're about to take them over anyway. So, I'm happy with this. Move in there for now. Isn't Lisbon, like, pissed with me? We have one envoy there. They really like Japan. Yeah, and they did say that we're at war. So, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to throw down against your chariot there. Forgot about them. Let's bring these guys out to try and help. Clear out that chariot. And we've got another great person. Hello. So we've got another great general. Okay, so it looks like we can have multiple. I, I seem to be the only person that is recruiting great generals. This guy's gonna have a scientist. So good for Norway, but we're eventually gonna kill Norway anyways, I think, and take them over. So let's recruit our second great general. Um, you know what? There's nothing that I can really do there, is there? So I think we're already doing pretty well. We can send our builder to another city. How's... Do we not have a builder on the way... Up here? Where's our iron at again? Yeah, right here. Where's our builder that was going there? Uh oh. I wonder if I lost it. Okay, where do I want to look to settle yet another city? Are you serious? It's getting pretty clustered down here. I'm thinking probably up here, I guess, would be best. Um, but for now, just... Ditissimas tui regni regiones dirependas ostibus dauisti. You're giving me a hard time about expansion? I got half the freaking place, dude. I'm not scared of expansion. Probably just didn't like that I moved my settler back. Okay. Horse archers, let's move you up. Oh, here's my little builder. There you go. Alright, cool. Um, my builders... Let's start just moving them out. Genghis Khan. I'm a bit worried about this horse archer. Getting crushed by this guy. If we have to kill this city-state, I guess we will too, and then we literally own this side of the map. They still... He just wants to stop. I'm, I'm gonna keep refusing you, buddy. Oh, so I think what... Gifu and Okiyama, right, okay. Where? Oh, you know what? Okay, so you know what I think is happening here? 
So... We already own Gifu and Okayama, technically. I think what Seed means is right here, where it's occupied, right? Because he's still got, like, maybe influence with his capital. And so he's basically saying, we're going to give you those and, like, get our people to follow you. But please don't take Kyoto. But why? Why would I stop, you know? That's kind of what I'm thinking, anyway. We'll have you guys take this one down so you get healed. I mean, good on him for trying. We do very minor damage here, but... Hannibal, to stay where you are. Okay, our settler. We could probably start working him up there. Bring the chariot out. Uh, let's build the mine here. There we go. And let's keep moving over here so we can maybe improve on these bananas. Okay, Genghis. Let's check out Lisbon here. Hello, Lisbon. Probably going to regret this. One thing I've noticed is sometimes when it says next turn, it doesn't actually take me to next turn. I don't know if that's like a Civ 6 thing, or if it's because I have unused actions, or what. Okay, so look at this. Whoa. Defense is superior to opulence. Alright, so we've got some defensive tactics in place. Um... Let's hold off on that. Let's choose what we're going to do next. Mysticism. Military training. Naval tradition. Feudalism. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, somebody was talking about this one. Serfdom. So, newly trained builders gain two extra build actions. That's actually legit, in my opinion. Let's do this. Um, we found a few barbarians going around here in their... Quadra reams? Quad. Quadra reams. Yep. We'll be getting away from that. Okay, do I need to make space? I think so. Now, do we have to whittle the city down to, like, nothing? Before we can capture it? Gonna find out. I'm thinking yes. Let's start moving in towards Lisbon here. Show them what's up, because you picked the wrong friend, buddy. You picked the wrong friend. Yeah, you can move over there. Okay, Builder, I've got two more builds on you. Maybe bring you down here to the rice area. Or we could do the Kurgan. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's get Genghis over here ready for battle. Don't like that very much. 
Okay, so we've got to take that out. Oh, man. I think they finally trapped this scout. Well, you know what? You can beat this warrior. Just do it. Surprise! Nice. <laughs> ballsy. Very ballsy. Yep, saw that coming. That's okay. You're doing fine. Just get across the river. Alright, now over here, we've got another archer. Probably gone a little too heavy on the ranged. That's fine by me. Could be worse. Um... I guess we could build a shrine so we can get mercenaries and, and or uh, missionaries. Start developing, like, some faith so that we're not, you know, all military all the time. Oh, I like that we can get a galley. Hmm. Yeah, we could start flushing things out here on the ocean if we wanted. Yeah, let's get our place nice and set up. We could maybe... If we have a builder here, we could probably get these crabs, because I think the builders we can send out into the water to develop whatever's out there, right? Let's do a shrine. Just have a little faith, you know? So he's actually in a pretty good position. There's not a whole lot that we can do to attack there. Let's bring our chariot up. I'm gonna go try and clear out this camp. Keep our builder moving. Check off to the left. Or sorry, keep our settler moving, I should say. Gold-wise, we are at a deficit now, but hopefully once these guys are no longer occupied, then uh, we'll be fine. Oh, crap. Again, they produced another unit. I wonder if I can swap here. Nope. Only if they have movement left. Makes sense. Major defeat, so probably don't want to do that yet. I think we will have to whittle it down. And we'll just fortify these guys in there, I think. Keep you moving in. Uh, we can set you back to auto explore. <laughs> look at this. Like, look how much area we have. Makes you feel good. I'm sure that this isn't that great, but it certainly makes you feel good that's like so much under your control. Okay, we're gonna bring in Genghis Khan here to provide the bonuses to these guys. Look at him, he's just like, he's literally trying everything that he can. You know, but we've come too far. No, you're a shame. Your dad would be very disappointed in you. Just saying. Oh god! Our scout's in big trouble. Okay, but now we can cover a lot of ground. They're gonna have to cross the river, it's gonna slow him down considerably. trying to take down this chariot. Oh, actually, going against those spearmen, that wasn't great for us, was it? Damn. Whoops. Sorry, Japan. Oh, sorry, Japan. I'm not trying to give you hopes here.
Okay. Let's bring these guys over here. Here's this thing. I don't know how... Can we attack these from the coast, maybe? I don't think we're getting anything done here. They're just going to keep healing. Like, this is honestly useless until we bring in, like, a... Uh, um, like a catapult or something that's a little bit better. Better suited to dealing with that stuff. Um, okay, so... We now have the mine here. I could bring you to this one, and then we could just move these guys down next turn and develop both of those. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should just stay in here and garrison this place with those guys. Maybe I think that's what we had set originally. I don't actually think we built that. Can't remember though. We're sending out scouts, they like Oslo still has no warriors really. Like they have two. That's not bad. Okay, let's see what's happening out here. God damn, our scouts get wrecked. That's down. Okay, that's fine by me. It's fine by me. Okay, what else could we do here? Holy sites, monument. Might not be a bad idea. Uh, amenities were below. Could do an entertainment complex. Um, we have things that could go here too, though. You know what? We should probably build walls here, considering that we're seeing these barbarians attack nearby. From the water? That could be a problem. Holy shit! Uh... All of a sudden there's a million barbarians in town. Holy shit. Okay. Well... <laughs> that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Yeah, I guess let's try and get walls up. It's going to take forever, but... Start moving this general. Same with these guys. Not getting anything done for that little city there. Okay, these guys we're going to move out. Queuing all these up. And then we are going to have to... We're going to have to move out here at some point. This is a swordsman. So they're actually... Why are the barbarians so strong? Stronger than, like, all the civilizations. Okay, so we're gonna build plantations on both of those, I guess. Got another builder out. Let's go to the horses first. Somehow you guys are still alive. Lucky ducks. Yeah, our city's in trouble here with all these guys. And they're bringing catapults and everything, so... Be cool, archers. Be cool. You're fine. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Medieval era. Few inventions have been so simple as the stirrup. 
I wonder if you have had so catalytic an influence on history. I wonder if we can't upgrade these horse archers to knights. I doubt it because these guys are our uh, melee. But there must be an upgrade for these horse archers, no? Okay, what is our next technology going to be? Got machinery. Crossbowmen. Well, maybe. I doubt it. It probably needs to be something that's ranged. Maybe musket men? It's still melee. Seems strange. Maybe there isn't an upgrade for them, which is disappointing, but. So there's a wonder available. I wonder if it's still worth going for any of these wonders. Lighthouses, harbor, gives trade routes. Let's grab this. Can knock it out pretty quickly. Let's do this. Get some extra housing here. Don't know if that's very safe anymore. Here we go. Sending in the boys. Sleep tight. Goodbye, Kyoto. Sudoku. I'm sorry, my man. Goodbye, we're good. Your district planners have worked out the basics of geometry. Maybe a full mathematical system will follow soon. Your knowledge of mathematics is boosted considerably. Okay, awesome. So we got all Japan's stuff. I guess we could have said, instead of killing that thing, we could have just left it. Um, okay, yeah, see? We're no longer... Well, we're no longer occupied, but 113 turns till growth? That seems weird. I don't know what's going on with Okiyama. Maybe it's because it's surrounded by these frickin' barbarians. That is gonna be a problem. That is going to be a problem. Let's get repairs up first, I think. And then we're gonna have to start moving all our guys towards these barbarians. I'm gonna take a break here. Um, but... Oh, we can do more trade routes. Yeah, cool. This is great. So now things are starting to get real complex. Uh, mostly because all these barbarians have come in here with swordsmen, which are way stronger than our guys. Uh, I don't see a way of upgrading our horse archers. Exercise zone of control. Suppression. I like that. I don't see a way of doing it, but... Maybe we can upgrade these guys later. Upgrade to a knight. Okay, so chariots upgrade to knights. Not enough gold in the treasury. Must be in a friendly territory. My god. I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried about what I'm seeing here transpire. I'm going to start moving these guys. Start moving these guys. Keep heading to the north, I guess. Could maybe settle, like, in here, but it's probably safer to settle up here. It's gonna be a new city without a lot of protection. I think I gotta pull back here, actually. Okay, so we built there. Let's head over here. I'm just trying to start getting everybody heading towards here before we end the turn. Uh, you can just stay in that city. Hide in the trees, I think. Fortify until you're healed. All right. 
I should have waited, but that's fine. We'll see what happens on this turn, and then... Oh, is Oslo gonna do some shit? Oh, wait, what? Okay, Oslo's fighting the Barbarians. Nice. Thanks, Oslo. Maybe we could be buddies. Maybe we could be buddies after all. Shit. What just happened there? Your temple in Okiyama has been pillaged by Barbarians. Yeah, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. Okiyama is sitting alone, surrounded by Barbarians. And it's gonna start getting hammered super quickly. Um... That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Okay, we're gonna take a break here, and eventually we're gonna start running at these barbarians, but... Hold on. Maybe we can upgrade these guys at least to swordsmen. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, okay. We do have promotions here as well. Zone of control. All right, I'm gonna stop, because I won't stop if I don't stop. You know what I mean? Can't stop, won't stop. Taylor Swift. See you later, bye!